Well, what's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. The last few days I've been doing some serious research on the internet looking for some fun baits to fish with. I made a long list of baits and I've actually ordered a lot to fish with so y'all are gonna see a lot to come. But today is one of those lures that just really stuck out to me. It was super cool. I came across it on a website and I just saw it and I was like, man, I have to have that bait. And let me show it to y'all. This thing is super, super cool. It is a homemade popper and it's all hand carved, hand painted. And those blues, those blues in this bait just stood out to me. Just man, look at those blues. We got the aqua, the deep royal blue, that white. Man, I just, I just saw it and I just had to have it. But anyways, let's go ahead and start fishing with this thing. This pond out here is looking juicy. The bite has been great. I'm just trying to get in and out before the rain starts. So let's go ahead and tie this sucker on and find us a homemade popper fish and there we go all tied up I just gave it a toss in had some great action so I'm excited to get going with this thing one more thing before I finally toss this in for y'all is that I'm going to be giving this away in the video so if you want to find out how to win that just stick around I'll be letting y'all know at some point later in the video so let's go ahead and get started with this thing I think I just got some funk on this just a little bit of grass so we might have to give that a, a, a redo but i think we're gonna probably find some fish on this pretty fast mm, nope not really any gunk unless it came off when uh i was reeling it in there but let's go ahead and get this back out there there's usually a fish hanging out in this little corner right here oh first cast that was actually trying to catch a fish and i got a little nibble right there There we go, first fish right there next to me. How did I not even see that fish? He came right out of the grass, like literally two inches from me and smoked that thing. Come up here, buddy. Yes, sir, bank flip. That is a first quality fish of the day. There's one, there goes two. And there she is, the very first popper fish of the day, quality, quality bass, solid little two pounder. And one thing I will say that I've noticed about this popper right away, and that is this thing actually sinks. It does not float uh, very well at all. And I mean, it'll stay near the surface because it is wood, but I think just the weight on this thing is just not quite there. I think it was more built and made to be kind of like a shelf piece, kind of a little art piece to put on your desk or something like that. And that's probably what I'm gonna give this away as. If you get this bait in the giveaway later, Definitely, maybe not use this thing as an actual bait. I mean, it's gonna catch fish, as you can see. I just caught one, but it's not the best popper in the world. It is really, really cool, though. I would definitely put this on my shelf or my desk or something like that. Really, really cool bait, but let's go ahead and get this sucker back in and see if we can't catch another one. Bye, bud. Off she goes. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing back in there. It is sinking on me. I'm gonna try to get like a clean shot of this thing sinking. But I pretty much I have to keep it like popping constantly to keep it anywhere near the surface. And like definitely keep my rod tip up to kind of keep it there. I don't know. It's just gonna be a little weird bait to play with today. It's definitely <laughs> not popping like I wish it would. <laughs> Where in the world did that fish come from? I'm sitting there looking at it right there in the water about five feet from me and that fish just came up and smoked it out of nowhere. I do not know where this little sucker came from. I will say the hooks on this thing are pretty dang good. That's one good quality about this bait for actually catching fish. It's got good hooks because these suckers are stuck in there. Let me tell you, good gracious. Bye bud, that's just a little pip squeak. I think this corner's got to have one back here. I just don't believe there's... I'm almost having to fish this thing like a jerk bait. I'm literally trying to get it up near the surface and it's just constantly sinking. Oh, 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 right there again, right there again. Right there in front of me, this whole little bank is just loaded with fish. There's this little tiny, I don't know, like weed line or grass line or whatever you want to call it, just overhanging the edge just a little bit. And I think these fish are tucked up there really well because I can see the bottom like half decent. And I'm not seeing any of these fish come out and get this thing. They're just basically just teleporting right to it because I'm staring at it super hard and just out of nowhere, this thing is getting smacked. 
pretty sure I paid like 17 or $18 for this thing. You would think for a 17 or $18 lure, even if it's like more of a piece of art, that it would actually function the way it's supposed to function and not sink. I wish I could fish this thing slower, but I just can't because I have to keep it up. If I don't constantly pop it, it just sinks. This is making some weird popping noise. It's a little pop all the way on that bank. Let's see if I can hit it perfect. Oh, perfect, perfect. Oh, 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 dang. Hit it again. I didn't realize the fish had hit it because <laughs> the thing's freaking sinking. Coming up on pond number two. Let's see if we can get one first cast up in this tree corner. <laughs> first cast. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Smoked them. I was getting a little worried right there that we weren't going to get a fish that first cast. That spot's usually pretty freaking hot. As y'all can tell, smoked this little dude. There we go, fish number three absolutely smoked the homemade popper. This thing is giving me some trouble, guys. I'm having a lot of difficulty keeping this thing above water. I fished that other pond for quite a bit without much more luck. Had one other little short strike where I couldn't really tell that he bit it because it was a long cast and the thing was underwater. And I didn't feel it at all because there was a little bit of slack in the line. That fish got off. but. One thing has been consistent with these things, the hooks have been pretty dang good outside of that one fish getting off. I mean, all these fish that have been actually pinned have been stuck good where I've had to use the pliers. Quality bass, on to the next. Bye, buddy. This pond is juiced up. This is the same pond I did the dragonfly video in. <laughs> like I said, like I said, juiced up. Oh, these fish were just hammering the dragonfly. And the same story goes for the homemade popper. Fish number two, two cast. You cannot complain with those numbers. Another decent bass. Saw a little two pounder. That meaty little dude smoked that thing the second it touched the water. I must have cast it right on top of him. Bye, bud. You know, I'm gonna cast back in this spot, but I wanna see if we can go three for three. I think we're gonna have better luck three for three if I do a nice little long parallel cast on this bank. I think we can get something to come up and smoke it. <laughs> three for three, three for three. Oh my goodness. Oh no. No, it snapped off. It snapped off. The homemade popper freaking snapped off. Wow, that is a bummer. How did that not break? That fish was like six inches. Ah, that is freaking dumb. Mm, that's about as annoying as it freaking gets. Ah, that's so frustrating, especially when I only bought one of those lures to film a video with. They were pretty expensive. They were like 17 bucks, and I wanted to do a giveaway, which I'm actually still going to do. I'm just going to order another one and send it to one of y'all. So if you want to enter that giveaway, just do two things for me. One, subscribe to the channel, and two, smash that like button. If you want to go the extra mile, you don't have to do it. You can leave a comment down below. But hopefully y'all enjoyed today's episode. But as always, best in this passion. Peace out.